the things that are important in, in painting. The light and shadow is, is very important. Newfoundland got a, a great coastline, probably one of the best coastlines in the world. It certainly is a, a, great, a, a great place to, to find uh, subject matter. My name is Gary Kennedy. Uh, I'm from Port de Graves. I've been an, an artist now since uh, 1984, uh, professionally. But uh, I became interested in art, of course, back in, in the 1960s. In, the 19, in 1966, uh, George Nordwitty, an artist from New York, came and, uh, and he started a little art school. And that, that's what sort of sparked my interest in, in painting. What I, what I was interested in watching him work was to see how you could take paint and make it look like something else. Or you could take paint and make it look like water. Take paint, and make it look like sky, and, and take a take a, a blank piece of canvas and put a picture on that looked like you know a real a real image. I've, I've experimented with uh, different styles of painting. Point is based on the idea that you apply certain like say a certain number of dots of blue and certain number of dots of, uh, of yellow, and when you stand back, you see a different color. This, this is a print I, I won third prize in the Absent Letters in, 19, in 1987, uh, uh, judged by uh, artist Mary Pratt. It's kind of imagined, sort of based on the some films of the hills and stuff like that, but it's, it's kind of almost could be almost anywhere in a way. Right here, it's, it's almost just yellow dots where the sun is. And then in the next, you see some red dots. This is red and yellow. You can see that sort of orange. When red and yellow dots combine, they make the orange. And then when you come over here, the blue dots are applied. That gives you the gray. Uh, my, my serographs are kind of, uh, what do you call them? Uh, based on sort of my childhood, I guess, growing up in Newfoundland, uh, going out sliding and stuff. And biographical, I guess they call that, wouldn't it? The, the pointillism technique. It's a good experiment, in a sense, to work with. Because I think I think uh, you can learn a lot from it, and it might make you, me a better painter. But it's not something that I want to continue on. I like is is more of a, a realistic kind of painting. I like the challenge of being able to paint something, to try to make the, the skin look like skin or the flesh tones look right and stuff, stuff like that, and, and and bring the color to get the right colors and stuff and the right light, get to capture the light on the skin and the shadows and stuff. What I, what I found challenging in this one is is the to, get, to capture the light on the skin of the wo woman's uh, shoulder and her knees and stuff like that, to make it look like, you know, flesh tones, to make it look real. It wasn't j uh, necessarily where the place was that was really important. The most important thing to me was to try to get the sense of, uh, of depth and atmosphere and composition. Uh, and so. When you stand in front of the painting, you get a feeling of looking across the, the bay, and it, it comes across as almost three-dimensional. Mm -hmm.